Yes, come right in. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, Rose. Your next client are waiting. Oh, okay, fine. Please send them right in. Okay, sir. All right. Mr. Robin. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. Um, so, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Robinson. Robinson. Okay. Okay, so before we actually um, get into this, um, what seems to be your problem? The thing is, we cannot even pinpoint what the actual problem is, but for the past six months now, we've been struggling. The thing is, the spark that was there when we started is no longer there. I mean, I can, I can remember like all the laughs, like the fun time, but now we we're just there. We can't even have like fun conversations anymore. There's something that's that's not okay with this marriage anymore. And that's why we're here. Maybe you could help us. Yeah. Okay, um, if I heard you correctly, madam, um, it seems the spark that was there right from the beginning isn't there anymore. And that's not even like the, the most scary thing of it all. The thing is, we've tried everything possible. Like, we've gone on trips. Just to, you know... Have a long time. Yeah. Revive whatever that's that's wrong with us. We've had like couple games and it's still not working. Well, um, trust me, this is not the first time I'm having this um, experience from couples. Um, you seem to have lost the butterflies in your belly. You know that spark that was there from when you're cutting and all that. Exactly. Okay. Um, can I ask you a quick question? How often do you talk in a day, like averagely? How often do you talk? Um, let's say twice a day. Um, no, I'll say like three times or like four times a day. Okay, could you give me scenarios like how do you talk? When do you talk? Let's say on my way to work. Um, maybe when I'm stuck in traffic. I'll just uh, put a call through for her to know where I am and let's say during lunch break I work. Yeah, like in between my work, like I call to just to make sure like I know what's going on with Okay, um from what um, you would have said, it seems um you would just talk basically to fulfill um just for formality's sake to know if the other person has gotten to work. There's no you know, emotions attached to the conversations you have over the phone. Is it the same thing in the house? How do people talk before you leave for work? Do people play? Do you cuddle? I would say um, there's no time for that. I mean, it's work day. I would just leave the house, just say my goodbye. And I would leave. There's no time for cuddle. <laughs> he leaves very, very early to work. Okay. He comes back late, so there's really no time to start having chit chat before you leave for work. Wow, okay, okay, okay. It's actually um, similar to um, couples I met um, last week Thursday. I think people are suffering from the same thing. So what we'll do is, um, there's this new technique um, we use. It's very, very effective. I think um, it will be better to see you both individually. Yes, yes, see by so doing, People have this um, freedom of expression. You say what the other person um, isn't doing that you wish they could do to you, you know, and all that. I'm sorry, but I think there will be no need for that. I, I mean, we can come together. Basically, we do everything together. I get you, see, I get you both, I get you, but this is actually my job. I've done this for a very, very long time. I'm a certified counselor. Trust me when I say that there are things that you both could tell me that you might feel, um, you know, uncomfortable saying towards your couple or in front of them. So just trust me. Let's do this my way. And at the end of the day, you both will thank me. All right. If you say so. I say so. Okay. okay so, madam, um, how about we start with you? Um, are you free, say, okay, tomorrow is fully booked. Um, okay, say next week, Thursday. Sure. Any, anything from... 9 a.m. 
then I will have you a day after her. All right. Um, there's no problem. That's fine. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. See you then. Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. I had to leave what I was doing immediately. I got your call. I'm so sorry. It's no problem, madam. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um. Now that you're here. Um. So, like um, I said in our last meeting. Um. I need to see both of you individually. But, madam, I have a confession to make. I won't be seeing your husband privately. This is just meant for only you. I don't understand. Okay, this is the thing, madam. As a woman, it's your sole responsibility to ensure that the family and the home works. Yes, trust me. You are the backbone of the marriage. But I'm really trying my best. That's why I'm even here. Just to make sure my marriage works. So, madam, um... I understand you are actually putting in all your efforts to make this marriage work and that was the sole reason why I decided to see just you. Uh, Madam, I don't know a better way to say this, but um, trust me when I say your husband is cheating. Yes, Madam. <laughs> I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but my husband is not cheating on me. So I refuse to believe that. I'm so sorry. but. My husband is open with me. I know his password. We share everything. I know every secret that he has. So, I, I can't believe that. I'm so sorry. That's the same thing they all say. Same thing the same women who had similar issues that you said. And then they all have broken homes. Sorry, but I can't believe that my husband is cheating on me. I know what I'm saying. I had the password to this man's phone. He doesn't hide anything. Wherever he is, he calls me to let me know. <laughs> Madam, as much as I would like to say um, I'm wrong, trust me, I've been here. I've experienced this a lot of times. Your husband is cheating on you, Madam. But if you allow me to help you, maybe we can make this work. But I know a cheating man when I see. Madam, I'm a man. I have experience with this. I'm a counselor. I've done this for years. Yes, madam. I understand you're feeling bad right now. I will allow you to, you know, to express yourself. But madam, your husband is cheating on you. This is what men do. That's what we do. Anyways, madam, um, I really want to help you, so I'll allow you, um, you know, put your husband to a test. We've tried this experiment a lot of times, and it has worked. Most times it comes out positive, but I just pray and hope this time around, I'm wrong. So, madam, um, I'll be sending you a message now to your WhatsApp. Just confirm on receipt. Yes, sent. I received it. All right. Um, so, use that app. You know, I, I believe you could um, either send it to your husband's phone or download it secretly. It's called um, a Secret Finder app. With it, you could find hidden messages and hidden apps on your husband's phone. If after this research, you don't find any secrets, any hidden apps or messages on his phone, then I stand to be corrected. But, madam, if eventually you find out that your husband has also been secrets, all I have to say is, I'm sorry. So, madam, would you be able to carry out um, this test on your husband? Look, madam, I really understand how you feel right now. I know it's difficult to believe, but when I see a cheating man, see, I know a cheating man from first sight. My advice to you is to actually leave your husband before he leaves you. But I guess you need all the proofs you want. This test will help. Leave my husband? What kind of a therapist are you? <laughs> Madam, right now you're actually emotional. You see, I do not use sentiments to handle this thing. Madam, how about I allow you um, carry out the test first? 
um, after which you can decide on your own. But trust me, I've seen this before. It is actually your devotion and the passion you have for this marriage that's making me help you like this. If not, you know, what I said is over. Just do this, madam, and get back to me. I'm sorry, but trust me, madam, I'm very, very correct. All right, thank you, madam. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you very much. Fire, right, madam. Please be strong. Of course, of course. No, you see, you see, you see, madam, if three marriages, three different marriages haven't worked for you, trust me, madam, I'm afraid to say um, you need to search within yourself. Okay, so this is what we can do. Um, how about we make it, say, I would have said today, but um, I am fully booked. How about we say, um, Could I call you back shortly? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, Mrs. Robinson, are you okay? Wait, wait, don't tell me your husband failed your test. I, oh my God, I hate it when I'm right. I hate it when I'm right. I'm so sorry, madam. Um, hey, madam, no, 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 don't do that yourself. I'm so sorry, madam, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry how I'm politics. Um, here you go. Here you go, madam. So sorry. Look, madam, um, as much as um, I hate to say I told you, um, what I can say is you need to be strong right now, okay? <sighs> it's sad. Men, men, indeed men has come. I'm so sorry, madam. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll be fine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, madam. I'm sorry. Sorry. You see, I told you. You see, the moment I saw your husband, I knew he was a cheat. There's something about the way they roll their eyes. I've seen that before. So sorry, madam. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. So sorry, madam. <laughs> Just know um, you've got me and I've got you too, okay? Um, you have a shoulder to lean on. You see, just let me know when you have any problems, be it psychologically, you know, and financially. For me, finances are not the problem. Financially, I'm okay. I can see that, madam. But you have to be strong, okay? You need strength to deal with this, okay? I understand how you feel. Okay? Please be strong. All we need to do now is, you know, plan on the next step, you know, how to make you better without your cheating husband. I have to go. Oh, well, you just got here. <laughs> I don't know, this is too much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> Man. Um, Mrs. Robinson, um, you didn't even bother to know when your next session will be. I'm so sorry. Just, everything is just too much for me right now. I understand. Okay, how about you just go and I send you um, a text. I'll also try and call you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Um, just remember, there's always a shoulder here for you to lean on. Okay? I'm so sorry, madam. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <sighs> Man. Okay. Hello, um, Mrs. Robinson. Hello, Mr. Frank. Um, so sorry for calling you. Um, I've been trying to reach out to you. You've not been responding to calls. Yeah, I understand how these things can be, you know. Um, anyways, um, I sent you a text regarding um, your next session. How about you check that? Okay, I will. I'll check it. All right. Um, once again, I'm sorry. Um, you know, right now, you need to be strong. Just think about yourself right now, you know. I'll try. All right, please do, okay? And you're welcome. Feel free to call me anytime. I will. Thank you so much. It's nothing, it's nothing. All right. Bye. Bye.
Who is it? Miss Robinson. Oh. Come right in, please. Come right in. You're welcome, Mrs. Robinson. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. We usually meet in your office, so why this today? Oh, madam, um, please have a seat. No, I'm fine. Okay, see, um, the thing is, I understand that you're actually emotionally down right now. I just thought, um, why not create a scenario where, you know, an, an environment where you can be calm, you know, and can have a heart-to-heart, -heart, you know, so more, more like a tete a tete. But I thought that's what we've been doing in your office. Madam, this is a different, you know, thing. Here, you'll be relaxed and, okay, you know what? Madam, um, I must confess that, look, I actually fell in love with you the very first day you walked into my office. It was like you came in alone, there was no man there with you. What? <sighs> is that why you want me to leave my husband? No, 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 no. Not that. All I'm saying is... Not that? So what's this? Madam, you just need someone who can take care of you. See, your husband is cheating. You need a, a man who can respect you, who can cater for you. Is that your job? Wait, 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 let me ask you this question. How many women have you lured into this your hotel room all under the disguise of I want to be there for you? Madam, you are the only woman in my heart. Will you shut up your mouth? And I'm supposed to believe that. There's no need to even stress this any further. I can't stand here and listen to this rubbish. Madam, look. Madam, I tell you. Oh my God. Mr. Counselor. So this is what you do to people's wife? No, 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 no. This is my first time. Sir, look, I can explain. I can oh, explain. you can explain. So I came to you for you to help us mend our home. You want to successfully break it, right? It, it, it's actually not the what you think. You see, this session is actually meant to be a session where um, I, 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 I... You know what? Uh, I'm so disappointed in you. So disappointed. Oh, Mr. Counselor, you know when you said you wanted to see my wife and I individually? I knew there was something up. Exactly, and then when I came into your office, you're asking me to go to my husband's phone for a certain test. I knew you wanted me to come back and say something different. That's why we planned this. Oh you know where this will lead to. And look at you here. Um, look, 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 sir. I, 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 I can explain. This is my first explain time. Explain what? Just keep quiet. S sir, sir, um, this is my first time. It's not what you think. You see, you, you can ask your, your, your wife here. Hey, keep quiet. Enough. Officer, take him over. Sir, you are under arrest for assault and defamation of character. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. Sir, I can explain. You just keep quiet. Officer, oh, this is my first time. Officer, oh, this, this, this is my life. This is my life. Officer, oh, please. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, the state will provide one for you. This is my career. Don't do this to me, sir. Please. Move. <laughs> 